Jammu Links News Top Stories is brought to you by Dawa Khana, Rihari Chungi, Jammu. With the official count in the Lok Sabha elections over on Friday, the BJP has secured 303 seats, which is 22 more than it got in the 2014 elections. And along with its allies, the NDA took its tally up to 351 in the 17th Lok Sabha. The biggest chunk of the BJP contingent will come from UP where the party secured 62 seats overcoming a formidable challenge of the Grand Alliance of SP, BSP, RLD combined. Indian Army on Friday confirmed that Burhan Wani's successor and Ansar Ghazwat ul Hind chief Zakir Musa was killed in an encounter by security forces in Kashmir on Thursday. Zakir Musa was killed in Thral region of Pulwama district late on Thursday evening and his body was retrieved in the wee hours of Friday. Security forces have recovered a huge catch of arms and ammunition from the site of encounter. A curfew was clamped in Srinagar as a precautionary measure in view of protests and clashes triggered by the death of terrorist Zakir Musa in an encounter with security forces in Pulwama. Meanwhile, restrictions were imposed in other parts of the valley as a precautionary measure following the Thursday night's encounter. Life came to a grinding halt in restriction-free areas in the valley on Friday following a spontaneous strike against the killing of Musa. A day after BJP registered landslide victory in the Lok Sabha elections, National Conference Chairman Farooq Abdullah on Friday stressed on the need for bettering relations with Pakistan. We have to live peacefully with our neighbouring country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited senior leaders LK Adwani and Murli Manohar Joshi on Friday, a day after the BJP's massive victory in the Lok Sabha election, and acknowledged their contributions to the party's growth. The Prime Minister was accompanied by the Bharatiya Janata Party's President, Amit Shah. About 8,000 voters opted for the none of the above nota button in elections to the Baramula Parliamentary Constituency of Jammu and Kashmir, which was won by National Conference Mohammad Akbar Loan. The nota secured more votes than four of the nine candidates who were in the fray in the constituency. National Conference President Dr. Farooq Abdullah on Friday said that no matter how powerful Prime Minister Narendra Modi has become after winning with the majority, but he cannot remove Article 35A and Article 370 from the state of Jammu and Kashmir. The Jammu and Kashmir Meteorological Department has predicted cloudy weather for the next three days. The spokesman said that weather would remain generally cloudy till May 27th and will gradually improve from Monday throughout the strait. From the last 24 hours, intermittent rains have occurred in most places of Jammu and Kashmir. After a humiliating defeat in the Lok Sabha polls, top Congress leaders will deliberate on party losses at a meeting of the Working Committee slated on Saturday where party chief Rahul Gandhi is likely to offer his resignation. According to sources, the party has convened a meeting of the Congress Working Committee, the highest decision-making body of the party, at 11 a.m. on Saturday. Bharatiya Janata Party felicitated Dr. Jitendra Singh, congratulating him for his stupendous victory in Lok Sabha elections 2019 from Udhampur Doda Parliamentary Constituency at party headquarters Jammu. National Conference President Farooq Abdullah danced with party workers to celebrate his victory in the Lok Sabha election. Farooq Abdullah won the Lok Sabha election from Srinagar. In the video, the former Jammu and Kashmir chief minister is seen surrounded by an overjoyed crowd requesting him to shake his legs for once. Abdullah obliges and briefly dances with people at the National Conference office in Jammu.